So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Power Week, which means that the Power BI team must release a new Power BI desktop update. This time it is September 2019. So a lot of formatting, visualization updates that I personally love. Great, great job. For me, if I would have to choose among all the updates this month, it's got to be the new default theme for one reason and one reason only and is that most companies do not change the theme and the old one was bad the new one it is this it just looks gorgeous well done so now when i see a default power bi report it just looks good it, this, this is a good update this is great Next, we're going to talk about the JSON theme very, very briefly because I want to do a detailed video on that. It just requires it. So what they have done is you can customize your Power BI report, the look and feel with the JSON file, and they have added classes to that. So we are going to be able to modify things easier, okay? Now, you need to know this because it drove me nuts when I was trying it and nothing worked because it is a beta feature. So you have to go to file options and then preview features, this new web table in inference. You have to click that, otherwise it won't work. I was changing things on the JSON file and nothing changed. Now you know what? Click on that and then you will be able to play with the new settings. I'll have a video on that very, very soon. I just have to understand. I understand the basics, but I have to understand what everything does so I can explain it to you, basically. Okay, with that said, next, what else do they have? They have the new default themes. They have added additional themes, not just change the default one, which is good. They are in here and even more in there. I think the default theme looks gorgeous if you don't want to create your own. Personalized visualization pain improvements. Now, um, you've been able to, since last month, I think, to pin in custom visuals that you always use. Now you can unpin visuals that you never use or that you have created a version, basically. So, for example, do you see this gauge thing? I dislike gauges as much as I dislike pie charts. So we're going to actually unpin that. So when you unpin it, it actually goes in there, okay? And you might say, oh, it doesn't disappear. It does. So once you close this and open it up again, that thing is gone, gone forever. So take your gauges and blow them out of your Power BI report, make yourself a favor. Okay, with that said, there is another thing, and is this about thing, which I think is very, very good because it allows you to know uh, who you have to contact. And if you have a custom visual, it will tell you which version of the custom visual is. You know, we are getting into better management of custom visuals. It's not optimal yet, but they are still working on this, and this is a step on the right direction for sure. Now, if you want to restore these things, that I have to say it, you just go in here and then restore default visuals. It unfortunately, it will restore everything. So you cannot choose, like, I want my gauges back. It will, if you have deleted multiple ones, it will restore everything and then you'll have to unpin. But that's not the world, actually. So fine. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. If we go analytics, um, I don't know why they put this in analytics. For me, this is reporting, but picky as always. Now, here's the thing. I was doing like this. I was going into, for example, that one. No, let's put, I don't know, sales. And I was going to the modeling pane and where is my custom? Custom, you have the possibility now to, the same way you can do in Excel, create your custom formatting or for like field text or field format. So you can specify exactly how you want to your currency to look like. You can specify that you don't want minus, you want parentheses. Hey, financial people of the world, are you excited? Because this is for you and for me that I'm working with you. So it, it doesn't happen in here. You have to go to the modeling pane 
And there you will be able to see the new improvement, which is uh, format here, custom. And then it will suggest, it will give you a, like, okay, is, is this like you want, for example? And then uh, it will pop up here a solution. I would like to be able to pick a default for numbers, a default for text because the default that they have at the moment, I'm not very happy with, but mm, this is, anyway, that was a parenthesis. This is a good update for all of you that work with, especially with finance. So good, 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 good. More, um, conditional formatting. Yeah, another thing, another thing before, there is, you have to, Turn on, on preview features, this personalized visualization pins to be able to pin and unpin. Because I didn't have that checked in and I couldn't unpin anything, okay? So remember that. Okay, next. Um, let's see, we have conditional formatting, more conditional formatting. Love conditional formatting, so wonderful. Now, here's the thing. On every visual on the general tab, there is something called alternative text. And this is for people with disabilities. For example, if somebody that cannot see would like to see a Power BI report, it can be read to the person. But obviously, it, it doesn't give you the details if something has been for pre-filtered. So let's say that you have pre-filtered by year, and you couldn't change it here, and you don't know what people are going to filter by. So it was difficult to make this usable. Now, with conditional formatting, that can happen. And I think it's great. I'm actually thinking about an idea of this alt text for other reasons, but we will talk about that in another video. So that is great. The border color, uh, you can conditional format in that. Think about KPIs, KPI cards. You can conditional format the border, so you can make it red and you can make it green or yellow or whatever it is. I think it's a great. So that we're going to definitely use. And uh, gauges. You can for conditional format gauges. Mine are going to be bye bye after this, so no format in there. <laughs> uh, if you love them and keep them, you, you will have them there. Create your own KPI cards. It's so easy nowadays, you know. Okay, this for me is the worst update of all. The best one was the default themes. The worst one is the dream through this discover this. Discoverability, oh my god. Okay, so complain, and I still have that complaint. How do you know? You look at this report, how do you know where you can fill, drill down? You don't, you don't. You have to hover, and then you see the arrows, you see? Hover arrows. So, with the Power BI team has done now, if you hover over and you get the tooltip, you will see that it says right click to drill through. Not good enough. For me, that's not good enough. I, I want to be able to see before, for example, on the matrix. This is for something that I was not like super happy. I love now. I'm completely in love with it. And I put it on every single report. And it's row, and then you put the plus minus icon. Why? Because I can see that you can drill down. That is an improvement. To have to hover over to see there is drill through. And here this, no, for me, no. But hey, that's probably working for somebody else. I'm sure about that. So that, but that, that is a, no good. Moving on, DAX expressions. We are going to talk about that on DAX Friday. So another video. Power BI apps visual is now generally available. I have a cool video coming up on Power Apps. So we'll talk about that there. But this basically means that it's not in test anymore. That it is fully supported. So the Power BI custom visual, Power Apps custom visual is now fully supported. Okay. Some data connectivity, data preparation, you can copy to clipboard from data profiling. I'm sure that there are good cases for that. I know, don't know any. So as always, comment box, shout at me and say, hey Ruth, I, I mean, that is a great feature because we can use it for X, Y, 
okay? Because I don't know when I would export the data, and also you have to export it to Excel, so it's a static export. So when your data changes, you would have to export it again. I don't know. But I'm, I'm sure if they did it, it's because it's useful for something. So just let me know if you have an idea of what that could be. And now we have um, some uh, performance improvements for direct query models and multi-dimensional models, uh, which sounds great. Um, do they explain more? They reduce runtime cost and fall to improve query performance. So, well, you have some information there if you want to check the technicality behind that. There is another thing here, and it says you can install Power BI Desktop on remote machines. Oh my God, you don't see that. Let me show you. Here, you can uh, install Power BI Desktop on remote machines. So you can extract that MSI file from the X file, ex executable file. So you have to install a third party tool and then it here it walks you through how to actually do it. Okay, so in case you need that, it is in here. So make sure that you check that out too. Okay, great update. My favorite again, it is the default theme. My not favorite at all is the drill through discoverability. <laughs> Did I say that right? Uh, where are yours? Let me know. Let me know down there. Okay, and I will do a follow up on the JSON file on Dax Fridays and on uh, Power Apps. So that is all for this week. Have a for today. <laughs> I'll see you again tomorrow, probably, or on Friday. Take care and bye bye.